Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and I am here for your July 2019 reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is until now, until the end of July. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome. Thank you again for your continued support. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this reading, okay? Now, remember, this is going to be some astro tarot. There's going to be some astrology I'm going to mix in, some of the transits. We're going to really get down into some things today, okay? Um, Aquarius, we're in this uh, Capricorn, this Cancer, Capricorn, North Node, South Node axis, right? We're having these eclipses in this axis. So this July, especially for you, I feel, um, well, there's a lot of shaking and a lot of things going on. There's also this like opening up of all of these truths. And there's this really unique um, opportunity that you have to really get down deep into those things you are the most passionate about, the justice, the truth, the fairness, um, the, okay, I'm just going to tell, tell it like it is because now the secrets are coming forefront, right? All that's hidden is coming out, especially as we're hurtling towards the July 16th um, full moon. And so if you're feeling this real big impetus to just be like, I see you, I see how you move, and we're going to talk about that. We're not having it, okay? This is not going to work out this way. And you're really empowered and emboldened to do that this month, even though you really don't necessarily have a lot of planets that um you that are yours you know uniquely yours that are really um having a big play here it's the combination of all of that energy that's really making you just like be like okay i can do this and now is the time to get this done now is the time for me to get all of the structure the way it needs to be now is the time for me to topple the government if you will that governmental structure that foundational or that overlord structure that's been over you, all right? And that is really displayed by, I'm using the Star Child Tarot for the main cards and we'll use the Mythic Tarot to um, for the um, clarifiers. So overall energy is this Queen of Wands, right? You're just like, Roar, you're coming out. You're like, this is it. I've been waiting on this and now it's time. You have this ambition, you have this desire, fire just burning in your belly to make things right and it's also then followed by the four of swords you want to make things peaceful but you know that things need to change and it needs to be a new start in order for things to make pe be made peaceful and you're utilizing this divine feminine energy i will tell you that throughout the entirety of this uh this cycle here it's a lot of divine feminine energy um, it's very strong right now because we're in cancer season. It's very, very strong. So us mothers of the Zodiac are not playing, okay? So this is how you're saying, but you really want to get it towards an uh, area of peace. And then we have the eight on. So you're, again, fire, movement. You are making it happen. And you are looking to change people's perspective on that which they are, how they're viewing it. Um, also, though, with the Six of Cups as an, as an overall energy in here, too, I'm also feeling things to do with family. So family structures could be changing. Um, you're really looking into the past to see how people have moved before, how you have overcome certain situations before, and, and you're analyzing the past to be able to predict the future. I don't see that as a bad thing. Um, I feel that there's a lot of secrets of the past that are being revealed to things you may not have known anything about. It's all coming up now, Aquarius, and it's coming up in a way that you can move in it. So coming towards you, we have the Knight of Swords, um, communication messages. Um, you're really, you are really wanting to speak your mind now on a lower vibrational level. This could also be gossip. So be careful about the gossip. And then we've got um, the devil card. So I feel like that that is, yes, Capricornian energy. However, um, 
it's like you are seeing and knowing this is also your thought life you're seeing and knowing and delivering the message of this is toxic. This is garbage. We're not doing this anymore. You are, you are literally, it's like, I can see you taking your sword and rooting out the garbage. Like you are rooting out the toxicity. You are, as it is being exposed, you're like, yep, we're just going to cut that right off at the root out of here. Okay. Um, you're bringing a, a divine level of inner strength. Okay. Um, a divine level of inner strength. Um, and here we have the lover's card. So this can also, um, partnerships, partnerships, partnerships. I see that in, um, and close partnerships. So you're strong enough that if you're, if it's a business partner or a romantic partner or a legal partner, you know, some, someone you're working with on a legal level, you're strong enough to be able to say, listen, this is what I'm seeing. I don't like it. Or this is what I'm seeing. I think we need to move this direction. This is what I'm seeing. We need to move in that direction. So you're strong enough to know all of this and you're strong enough to speak it. Remember that is Gemini energy. You're also strong enough to make a quick decision. Like you're not really analyzing it as much as you used to. And I think because you also have all these with that six of cups energy, overall energy, you have past uh, references. So you don't really feel the need right now to overanalyze. You're just like, you know what? I've seen this before. I know this before. I may not have been willing to admit it, but I've been knowing this about you. Okay. Um, and here we have the eight of wands again, you're moving, you are moving forward. You are pressing forward. We are going to take care of this situation. What could be an issue for you? Seven of swords. So that energy, people trying to lie, cheat, steal, hide. Mm -hmm. With that five of pentacles trying to leave you out as if you don't know what's going on. That's what I hear for some of you, as if you don't know what's going on, as if you can't see, as if you can't see with not only your natural eyes, but your third eye, as if you just don't know already. You already have ascertained how they're moving and shaking. So you don't need that, right? And then they think that their their ship is coming in. They think that this is just a, this is about to be finally, they're going to be with the three of wands that they're finally going to get some uh, level of manifestation. Like this is the dawn before the, the whole thing just comes into fruition. Like with the four of wands, right? The four of wands is all about unions, partnerships, life purpose. You know, it's the 11, 11 card. It's all about that. So before we come into some level of completion, here we are. There's some victory here in the three. They're Threes are all about creativity, creative energy as well. So they are really trying to, behind your back, create a situation where they are gaining victory and you're left out in the cold. Knowing that can be a bit of a Debbie Downer, right? Knowing that can make you on guard more. It can make you angry. It can make you ready to just pop off. Okay. But now, you know, so move the right way. Don't let them know that you know what they're trying to do. Do not let them know that. That's why we have to have this 10 of wands energy to help us overcome it. And I'll tell you how that 10 of wands energy, the 10 of wands really is about picking up your burdens and moving. It is about having more burdens. It can be. But you have to remember the nine of wands is, okay, I'm kind of either defending my position or I'm resting somehow. I'm not moving forward like the eight of wands. I've reached a bit of a plateau. So I'm going to defend my position. I'm going to rest right here. And the 10 of wands now is saying, let me look around here. Hold up. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. These are burdens I don't need to carry. 
these are burdens that I need to let go. So the fact that you want to move in a, in a deceitful way, the fact that you want to talk about me behind my back, the fact that you want to try to get over on me by slick talking, the fact that you may want to cheat and you think you're going to, and, and so that at the end of the day, you can leave me out in the cold and where I don't have anything because you think that's going to bring you some sort of victory. Mm -mm, no, boo-boo, I'm not going to get down into this feeling with you. I'm not going to get down into this muck and mire with you. I see how you're moving. Ooh, we got the Ace of Pentacles and I have the Ace of Crystals here. So I have the double Ace. This is the outcome or advice. Ace of Crystals and I got the Ace of Pentacles on the Ten of Wands. What that says to me is this. If you can pick your stuff up and keep it moving, if you cannot get so entrenched in defending your position that it paralyzes you and you can't move and you can pick it all up and say, you know what? I know I might not have been all right and uptight and uptight and all right. I might not have been that. However, if I move all of this out of the way and I say, all right, you know what? I got some stuff to deal with, but you know what? I'm going to keep it pushing and I'm going to heal from it or I'm going to not really concern myself with how you're moving because how you move and if you are are lying, cheating, stealing, you know, trying to keep something from me, hiding things from me so that I don't know the fullness, you know, you're trying to get over on me. You don't have to, you're not going to get over on me. You getting over on me is completely and totally dependent on what I do with that information. If I allow you to do it, but what this is saying is if you pick it up and move it and don't sit and dwell in it and stop defending it all the time and just do it, then you get this brand new fully manifested start. The money starts flowing. Uh, the peace comes to your home. Uh, the tranquility, the love, like your whole life begins, all the totality of everything in your life then begins to come in to manifestation. Yep, here we go. Nine of Cups, one of my most favorite cards. Nine of Cups. This is you being satisfied with yourself. This is you being confident in yourself. This is you being like, you know what, I'm all right. And my desires and my wants and what I intend to manifest and what I am manifesting, what I have set my vibrational set point to is worthy. It is important and it is what I will have. It doesn't get much better than that. Ooh, look at there. And the magician, the master of manifestation. You see, when you add your emotion, that vibrational frequency, you add the emotion to the situation and you vibrate at the frequency of that which you desire, you recreate energy and bring it into physical form because you have felt it, emoted it, attract it, law of attraction, attract it in. You can do it. Despite what anybody else is trying to do behind the scenes on you, Aquarius, you can do it. And I better hear by the end of this month how y'all have done it. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up at the very end of this. Uh, so just stay tuned for just a couple more seconds. We are starting tarot class on July the 20th. So please uh, check that video out. Sign up at heartofinspiration.net. If you wish to also work with me, personal reading, Reiki energy healing session, energy clearing, you need some cord cutting, all that, all those kinds of, you know, to make yourself whole and healed, check me out on heartofinspiration.net as well and under spiritual services and you can book some time with me. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.